Hi guys, in this video, I am going to show you that how you can generate SAPA direct debit mandate form. So actually the uh, need of this specific mandate form is when you are going to do the transaction with the SEPA direct debit in most of the cases like if you are uh, living in European countries so over there in most of the cases people do the deal with the SEPA direct debit all right so of course I have also worked uh, with some clients they have the need of this SEPA direct debit and they were also uh, working on the uh, invoicing and all so I will be telling you step by step that how you can get the benefit out of it uh, while doing the transaction of course if you are doing the transactions with the bigger uh, amount so at that moment you have needed these type of mandate forms so what the mandate form is and how to use it and how to generate it I will be telling you each and everything so if you have not subscribed my channel please subscribe the channel first and like this video as well because in the coming video you will definitely uh, get most useful content uh, uh, in the future videos so let's start with the actual uh, discussion that how we can do the things uh, with the SAPA direct debit uh, mandate all right so the mandate form is actually the form in which we mention the creditor and debtor details for example the person who is going to receive the amount and another person who is going to send the amount so both of them are just dealing with uh, a agreement in which they have mentioned all that information and you know that this mandate form needs to be generated by the receiver who is going to receive the uh, payment and in that he will be mentioning his own bank account details his uh, creditor identifier his iban number his bank name bank details his own details phone number email and all and of course he will also get the information from his sender and mention all the details in that uh, mandate form as well so what the mandate form will be representing is like uh, uh, if you are sending that uh, if you have generated the mandate form once uh, the sender is going to generate then he once the receiver is going to generate the mandate form he will be sending to sender so that sender will be uh, uh, doing a signature on that specific mandate form so this would be mentioning that uh, the sender is agree with the transaction so he wanted to uh, send the amount to the receiver so he will be uh, doing the sign signature over the uh, mandate form and then he will be taking the original copy to his uh, um, uh, he will keep his original its original copy and also send one copy to uh, the receiver and uh, you know that the sender will be uh, showing that specific mandate form to his uh, to its bank so that the bank uh, would be aware about the specific transaction from his account so in that way the mandate form is just helping us to um, create an agreement between the sender and receiver all right so the receiver will also get the mandate form and then after uh, he will be also informing to his bank that this uh, much amount is going to be uh, coming from that specific bank and we have the agreement and he can also show the agreement of uh, agreement which is like mandate form so there are two ways to generate the mandate form you can also get the ready-made mandate form uh, from any specific software like i am also generating the mandate form but there is another way which is like uh, you can log into your net banking i mean your bank account and in some cases you will be getting the option to uh, generate a mandate form and from there you can also uh, actually all the details you will be filling into that one and you will be uh, generating a pdf file and and then you will uh, send that mandate form to your sender and then of course sender will review all the details and if those are all uh, correct and then he will be doing the signature and then he will be returning back uh, that specific mandate form so this would be the uh, process to generate the mandate form and use the mandate form all right so uh, how why actually we need it is like uh, if we are uh, doing a bigger transaction so at that moment SEPA direct debit is the best option for the people to do the transaction the first thing is like it is cheap and the transaction limit is more 
so if you are doing with the other banks and all other process you are following then at that time your charges would be Im increased and of course uh, the there would be the limitation of the transaction limit uh, for example there are people uh, there are uh, uh, some uh, banks or maybe some processes in which uh, you can never able to uh, do the transaction of million dollars right so if you have some million dollars five million dollars ten million dollars so or 50 million dollars so at that moment you have needed the SEPA direct debit so this is the easiest way and safe way to uh, do the transaction and you know that if somebody has done the transaction then he will be also getting the a specific uh, time limit that in that he can claim that i am not agree with the uh, with this specific uh, transaction and i need uh, i have needed the uh, money back so he will be getting that uh, amount back to his bank account so this is also the security and uh, you know that uh, if he has uh, generated the uh, uh, mandate form then in that way uh, he will be mentioning all its personal details like bank account ibn number bank information so in that way both the parties would be agree and then after uh, uh, after that specific agreement the transaction would be done so of course this is the safety and the easiest way and the best way you know the people are not dealing with the uh, money with the hand to hand like by cash they are also interested to do the transaction in electronic way and they have also needed, needed the surety that for example I am sending the amount to my friend then the, the amount would be sent to that account or not so this should there should be the surety uh, to the bank so of course SEPA direct debit is providing such type of facilities to the sender as well as receiver so in that way the SEPA direct debit is helping us to uh, do the bigger transactions and even uh, make it uh, keep it more secure and there are few more things like um, there are people who are having the six digit code from its bank and they wanted to use that six digit code for the transaction and you know that is uh, uh, business to business SEPA direct debit business to business so at that moment the process is like uh, for example I am a sender I wanted to send amount to my uh, receiver who is to the another country or maybe somewhere else so what I will be doing is I will be going to my bank I will be saying to the uh, um, to my bank that I wanted to send this much amount to my uh, to my sender so they will be generating a six digit code uh, which will be helping you to uh, use that code and that is actually the agreement with the bank for example I am a sender and I have taken that specific code and I will be sharing with the person to who I am believe I am believing because uh, I agree with the uh, m that specific person that's why I am sharing that specific code through him so that he could uh, get the amount so wherever he will be using that uh, specific code the amount would be uh, that transacting automatically so how that would be like uh, there are people who are using POS system POS terminal so there is a machine in which like swipe machine so in that we actually program uh, do the programming and in that way we some people are also linking with the stripe so in that way they do the transaction and uh, use that specific six digit code so that is also the best way to do the transaction with the SEPA direct debit rules and regulations so of course there are a uh, few uh, problems that maybe people are facing so they are turning towards the SEPA direct debit transactions so of course this is simple as well as beneficial for the people to uh, keep the transaction secure and uh, of course the agreement uh, also remain uh, good so let me show you that how you can generate the SEPA direct debit mandate form so I am using a software so in that software I am adding the details and then it automatically generates a mandate form so you can see on my screen that I have this uh, mandate form so in that I wanted to show you here uh, we have written SEPA direct debit mandate by signing this mandate form you authorize uh, team um, party A to send instructions to your bank to debit your account and and party B your bank to de debit your account in accordance with the uh, instructions from party A 
a part of your rights you are entitled to a refund from your bank under the terms and conditions of your agreement with your bank your rights are explained in a statement that you can obtain from your bank a refund must be claimed within 8 weeks starting from the date on which your account was debited so i already told you that this Uh, sepa direct debit is just helping you to give the time 8 weeks in which you can request the refund of your transaction all right so the sender can claim within 8 weeks so he will be getting the money back so this this is the type of agreement then you will be adding the creditor details then debtor details ibn number and at the end you will be getting the validity so validity means for example you have generated this mandate form today so for how many days this this would be valid so you can actually fix the limit so that uh, uh, after uh, that specific uh, time uh, or date nobody could able to do the transaction and then after you will be doing the signature uh, here actually needed the signature of the uh, sender and he will be sending you back this same document and you will be uploading wherever you have needed for example you have your bank uh, bank uh, banking website and there you wanted to receive the amount so you can also in some cases people are also getting the option to upload uh, that mandate form over there so that your bank could identify that yes this much amount would be coming into our bank on this specific account so in that way people are handling the amount handling the transactions so if you are facing such type of issues you can also uh, keep me in touch and uh, as a technical support so i will be helping you if you are doing something like that i am also a software developer i am working on websites so if you have needed any website i can also develop for you so if you have any technical issue feel free to ask me uh, for the problem i will helping i will definitely help you out with the issues which you will be facing so thank you so much for watching this video so if you are thinking this was useful just subscribe the channel and like this video so thanks for watching see you in the next video